Hello, Mioni here and welcome back to another video. This time we're starting off with Genshin Impact, mostly because I thought I'd start with this video because a lot of people on the internet have been making videos and uh, putting it into two separate videos and other things and it's really frustrating and I couldn't find an answer to this. And as much as I wanted to, uh, you know, figure this out myself, I also used help from other places off of website. So, you know, I'm going to share this with you so you can just have the answers. Basically, there's this uninhabited island off of Star Snatch Cliff all the way over here. You can't even see it on the map until you come here. Essentially, you might come in here as part of your adventures. There really isn't much point unless you're level 40 because around level 40, a quest will actually appear when you come here, when you interact with this sundial. It's very interesting sundial and Paimon will basically be like, I have no idea what this is. And that's all you can do unless you're level 40 on a character. Um, it won't appear, basically. Uh, if they're trying to gate it behind that particular thing. So that's the first prerequisite. Again, this is the island just over here. You get here, by the way, by using um, it's Kaya with his ice ability because it's the lowest cooldown. And you just ice your way across the entire ocean. It takes about 10 minutes to get here. It's fairly annoying, but that's how you do it. So after a while, um, you'll find two bosses. I've killed both of these. Unfortunately, I didn't record the footage. They kind of look like this guy. This guy is not actually a boss. There's a, a boss on both sides of the island. There'll be one on this side of the island, and there'll also be one on this side as well. Um, those are two bosses. They're level 35, uh, so make sure you come prepared. Sort of gem magic works quite well against them, but pretty much anything leveled up will. So you might be wondering, how do you actually solve this shadow on the sundial part? Because after you realize, um, you know, where the quest is and there's something else here and the quest pops, if you come over here, you'll find some rocks that you can smash. I've already smashed these. These are breakable pieces of terrain. Just use something, any class will do, and it'll break. And then there'll be a note inside this hole that forms. Then you simply go into your inventory, and here it is, the Ragged Notebook. And if you read this, it will basically tell you the elemental site is of use here. And they keep mentioning visions and using all of this stuff. So essentially, you know, if you don't know, if you're on PC, you can hold down middle mouse button and you can see elemental residues. So what you would do is you would go over to the sundial. And between 2 a.m. to 4 a.m., in game time, you need to have progressed far enough that you have the time option, by the way. You'll see here, uh, it's currently 4, so it's not going to show up. If you set this to about 2 in the morning, right, it doesn't have to be exact, between 2 and 4, you will actually have a really interesting thing happen, and certain elements will appear. So let's do that together. Uh, this is the part that I've not done. So I've done everything else. I killed the two bosses, I broke the rock, I got the note. Um, so here we are, 2.07 in the morning. That'll do perfectly fine. You will need to have a wind user in your party, so make sure you have one of those. I've got Sucrose in here. Uh, a nice easy one early on to have is your main character, um, obviously. So that might be a thing if you're attuned to this region. And then you hold down the middle mouse button and you'll start to see at this particular time... See, look, it shows leaves here, which is showing you power of wind and then follow the trail. So it's going up here, and you'll note that if we look over towards the beach area, it leads to a rock. There's a shiny thing on it. So switch to your wind character, go over towards said rock, and then use wind magic on said area. Okay, so let's hop over here. Let's make sure we don't drown, actually, because you can drown if you run out of stamina in this game. There we go. Press a button, boom. Oh, it seems to Paimon that this can easily be scattered by the wind. There you go, you see. So that's the first part. It says disperse the cluster of wind times three. There we go. So now we have to go and uh, scatter the three wind thingies, if I can find them. Mm -hmm. The cluster of wind. Yes, yeah, so there's one out here, look, on the other side of the island. Some of these are going to be easier to get to than others, no doubt. Again, this is me doing this for the first time now, so... Presumably, the other two are on the other side. Okay, how close can we get to this? Not very close, actually. Will that be enough? Yep, that did that one. Awesome. 
Uh, again, it would probably be much easier with a main character. I also have Jean as well. She has a wind attack. Um, I managed to get lucky with pulling her out of the deck with a gacha system. I'm frankly enjoying this game quite a lot. As you can tell, these sort of little adventures are pretty awesome. Oh, wait, is there one at the top of that? I think there's one at the top here. Let's climb to the top of this. I did wonder why this tower was here in the first place. There is also one of those ghosty sigil things, what they call homunculuses, that you can collect. You have to collect all three of the um, those shiny things, and it gives you a, a, a like a boost. But you, oh, I ran out of stamina. That's my own fault for not looking. But yeah, you, there's there's a floaty guy about there, and you can collect all three of those. The other one of these, by the way, is on the beach. If you're wondering, uh, that's another optional thing you can do. Let's take our time this time. Let's not jump up there. There's no point in jumping. But yes, nice chill game, quite relaxing. Um, the pay to uh, the paid options are not completely in your face. I'm enjoying that aspect of it. It's very rare for a gacha game like this to uh, catch my attention in the first place, let alone be any good. There's the second one. Very cool. Where's the third one then? We should be able to see it from here then. Uh, the strange feeling that was here seems to be gone. Aha! Did the time already pass? Yes, it did. So they're giving us special hints there because it's five in the morning. So if you want to do this in one cycle, obviously you've got to be a bit quicker than I am. But uh, we're about to see. In theory, it's just a case of waiting till the next two in the morning. So you have like two in-game hours to get it right. Uh, which isn't actually that long. It's only a few minutes, isn't it? In the game world. There we go. Okay, so where is the third one? Is it literally... Oh, it's literally out there as well. Oh, cool. You You could kill two birds with one stone then, technically, with getting the other thingy. There we go. So it's here. Oop. Okay. An ancient tale comes whisked in the wind. Wow. Okay. Ooh, is this another boss? Interesting. Well, we've got a couple of level 40 characters here, so that's uh, that's something to to play around with. Let's quickly do this then. Um, what we'll do is we'll quickly heal up. And prepare for battle, and then I'll cut to that, uh, just to make sure it is actually a battle. Is it a battle? Oh. Yeah, it's... No? Oh, it's not. Okay. And then we just use wind here. Scatter the deposit of wind. I'm trying. Oh, there we go. Oh, it is definitely a boss. It's Eye of the Storm. Okay. So there's another one of these fellas. I was going to cut to this, but obviously wind magic's not going to be very helpful here, so let's switch to something else. If you have a ranged character, you're obviously going to have a better time than I am. Not especially uh, high amounts of health. It's really annoying when they fly off like that, though. Let's use uh, gem magic. I forgot we had that. Protect from any projectiles. I do like Ningguang, or whatever you want to pronounce her as. I think she's cool. And then switch, obviously, to the melee attack person. There we go. Get as many hits in as possible. Oh, we're stuck in that, unfortunately. Ah, nice. Okay, the burnings. All the burnings. I'll switch back to her. So yeah, try and bring a ranged character. Try and bring, obviously, a frost character to get over. And a wind character. And you will have the best possible time. Obviously level 37 for the mobs, 35 for the other two. Pretty high. So this is something you might want to wait off before coming to this island. This is taking forever. Because I'm doing it very suboptimally. I know a lot of people are going to be like, Ah, but Mione, you're doing it slow. You could do it this way. I, I really don't care. I'm having a chill time. We're having fun. We're combining elements. We're getting punted into oblivion because she's too low level. Yikes. Try and keep this character alive at least. I'd res her, but meh. Okay. Let's put some fire on this. Switch back to this character. Get out of the wind. 
There we go. Crystallization. Get those shields. That's a really chill go game, though. I don't know if uh, how many people have been picking this up, but it's been a really welcome distraction from Final Fantasy XIV for me, which is my main thing, for sure. Oh, wow. She got absolutely punted. Let's use a quick stake there to restore some... Uh, get some health on the go. So, like I say, you know, not the best of player in this type of game, but it's highly enjoyable, so I'm just trying to help other people. Cool. There we go. Let's have some of that fire ult. Lovely. I mean, the wind's a good idea, but yeah, 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 yeah. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage, considering she's level 40 as well. Bloody hell. That's surprising. Okay. Coming close to the end of this fight, though, so that's something. Put the bear down and switch back. Oh, I just tabbed out of the game. That's so unfortunate. Oh, there we go. We didn't actually have to kill it. Huh. Pursue the eye of the storm. Whatever it is, it's definitely an elemental life form with a reaction like that. Oh, okay. Let's go. Wow. Wee! Oh, this is so cool. I didn't expect all of this from a little deserted island, which is why I wanted to do a little video on this. There was, there was a guy I was searching on YouTube, and he um he basically did none of this. He didn't show any of it, so complete garbage. If you're going to do a guide on a, on a video game, try and contain it within one video and get to the damn point. That's all I will say. Wow, is this really going to take me across the entirety of the map? This is amazing. It looks like you definitely want to get all of your affairs tied up before you uh, finish up this quest. Because it's taken me across the entire map. Wow. Oh no, I'm going too low. Okay, where are we going? Down here. Okay. we. Ah, there's the other sundial. Interesting. Okay, right, we'll uh, we'll heal up, and then we'll give this a bit of a go, shall we? Okay, so we've healed up, we've rezzed Keking. Not that that's going to really help if uh, the second part of this is going to be anything like the first. Let's continue. There we go. We can take care of these fellas. Burn them. Burn them. Burn them all. Yes. Bring they, me their faces. I'll put them on my belt. Like an Asian collector. Alright, what's the deal with us then? Uh, seeds of stories brought by the wind and cultivated by time. It's another quest related to time again. Interesting. Very interesting. Interesting. So, basically the same thing again, I would imagine, but at a different time. Let's change the time again. Back down to 2 a.m. See if anything changes. It should probably be about that time, unless they're working on the 4 a.m. thingy. I don't know. Let's see. Is there any elemental stuff? Yes, there is. Whoop, whoop. Well, what a good guess. So they seem to be on every single one of these plimpy things. There we go. So that spawned some ads. Oh, let's take care of these fellas first, I think. That would be a good idea. There we go. Set those on fire and then swirl them up. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Welcome to my kitchen. Today's meal is slime. Yes. Yes. What else have we got here? Oh, there's the other one, right. Boop. I'll summon more of them that we've missed from before. Oh, and the boss at the same time. Lovely. Just what I wanted. I have a storm level 40 now. Okay, so he's leveled up a little bit. So definitely recommended to be level 40 at least with a few of your characters. Uh, ideally a full team, I would imagine. Take those crystals. All right, we're going to do the same thing as we did before. He has added... Ants, though. So we've got to deal with those. Don't really want to get swamped by them. 
Let's use the alt there to burn them. And then we'll blow that up. There we go. Use Sucrose's alt to fan the flames. There we go. Oh, Sucrose died. Okay, that's unfortunate to say the very least, isn't it? Let's heal her up. Should really come better prepared with, um, well, stuff. Um, but that's fine. We'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen? There we go. Burn that one. So yeah, like I say, this is sort of like a semi-guide. Semi might as well just play through it. I don't see the point in editing it too much. At least then you get to see what the full quest line is like, as opposed to just a bit of it. And of course you can... Oh wow, she got absolutely flattened. That's unfortunate. Okay. Should have started with the electricity, really, before switching, but... Okay. Ah, burn. Yeah, set it on fire. Okay. I really could have done with her being alive, sadly. Wow, that's a, that's a big AoE, actually. Jeez. That is a big AoE. Oof. What we'll do is we'll probably cut to when this uh, this fella is near to his death. Die! 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 Oh my god, that last bit of health is just taking forever. What on earth? Oh, finally. Jeez. <laughs> so there we go guys if you uh if you're doing this puzzle make sure you have a pocket healer i died the first time in the footage that you saw before i went to a, a break to heal and um i had to get someone to come and help me but there you go barbara 10 out of 10 definitely going to recommend using a healer yikes that's that's a good character it's a very good character thank you fubar for your help Okay, I'm not sure what I would have done there without the help of a friend. That was uh, that was incredibly powerful. Like, the spin attack is very painful. One of the tips, I would say, is for the whirlwind, is you, uh, if you glide on them and stand in the air, that's the safe spot. But oof, I would just... It's better with other players, and that's why the multiplayer aspect of this game is so good, because you can overcome quite a bit. So anyway, let's finish this off then. Where did this thing come from? It wasn't here before. How did you summon it? Well, you give Henry Morton a detailed account on how the riddle was solved. Ah, so that's time and the wind. So there's another sundial exactly like this one on the island. Am I right? And the method to solve its riddle is the same? Then there must be some link between these two sundials and the two places they are located in. I must find a way to get to that island and quickly. Thank you, Traveller. Once I have made preparations, I will look for you, and we shall visit that uninhabited island together. Ooh. Ooh, so what did we get out of this? We got an achievement and a bunch of stuff. We got four heroes' wits, 60,000 mora, and some prima gems, and uh, an achievement, right? Where's the achievement? Let's see. So then there might be another part of this quest line. then. Here you go. Nothing to lose but time. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Was it worth the adventure? Absolutely. Um, especially if there's a follow-up. Presumably there'll be something over on that island, um, which is over here. But there we go. Hopefully that helps. That was a little bit of a quick guide on how to uh, at least solve the riddle. And then we, we did a bit of a let's play thing, didn't we? Where we uh, did the boss and I died horribly and had to help uh, have help. But there we go. Hopefully that was helpful. Enjoy the rest of your day. Let me know what you'd like to see from this game in the comment section, and I'll try and do so. And I'll see you all next time.